All right, so <laughs> obviously I don't know what World Wargaming thought was going to happen, but we're in a tier eight match where everybody is in a Chrysler K. Well, not really everybody, but you know. Anywho, starting right off with the commentary, you can kind of see what I mean by the mobility of the vehicle. This is very fast for a heavy tank, but obviously it's still slow because heavy tanks are heavy tanks. Which is what I was just trying to remind you of, like, yes, it's incredibly mobile. No, it's not fast. <laughs> Whoa, somebody just got hit super hard. really don't want to be stopping and doing what everybody else here is doing. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. Oh, God, come on. Come on, dude. Get... He's going to get uh, spotted. He's going to get us all killed. That guy is... His I is 6. Doesn't know that he's hitting a rock. Alrighty. Just chugging along. This is actually way faster than I thought it would be. Or it feels a lot faster than it is. Um, up here comes the other Chrysler King. Or another one, I should say. There's going to be a lot of them. Everybody's going to be side scraping at them because it would be stupid enough. No Artie, though, which is interesting. Yeah, see, we're all in a side scrape in our Chrysler case. Wow, tracked him. I can't believe they didn't do any damage. Now moving up. History isn't written by the... Whatever. Fortune paper's old. Penetrate the side of the Chrysler K. Hopefully this guy's not going to pen us in the front. He won't. Dang. He gets away again. Ooh. Ooh, I don't want to deal with that. Oh, and I don't want to deal with... Oh, man. I don't want to deal with so much. To the side of that Chrysler K. Time to back off. Because that guy's one of the few that can pen me right in the front. I think. I don't know anything about the AMX AC 48. But why would I risk learning about it in the field? History favors the bold again? Oop, no, it doesn't. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. I thought that would go through. Yeah, that one's gonna go through, I feel it. No, wow. Whoa. This is great. <laughs> None of these are. See, I know I said it in the review, but as long as you just angle your tank properly then yeah you're gonna be good you're gonna be good to go he's angling now there's no way I'm gonna penetrate him but I don't have to because my team's moving up Yeah, see, they'll, they'll smoke him out. The other mediums will. This is some cooperation. The T-54 mod one. I could die. Get him. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Only 900 damage done, but... Uh, 1,300 potential damage blocked, so... occurs to me now that I probably should have compared this to other normal heavy tanks. firing gold. Smart T-32. But now the Mutz is no longer afraid of him. Oh, that hurts so much! Yeah, but he doesn't stay alive long enough to uh, enjoy that. That, yeah, he's firing gold too. Wow, that went 
Where did that go? I have no oh, through my side. Wow. Yeah, see, I can almost keep up with these mediums. Alright, so we did as much damage almost as we blocked. 1300 for 1300. Not stellar, but boy, does this thing feel tough or what? Ooh, almost. He ducked behind cover before I could fire. Loving this aim time, and that is no joke. Whoa. Oh, wow. I don't know why I did that. My brain didn't register somehow that he was dead before I pulled the trigger. So waste that shot. I wonder if this thing's economical. This can be the next thing I find. It's like, is it as cheap to play as the T-34? And does it earn me as much credits and experience? So let's find out. First impressions, love this vehicle. And again, the only two penetrating shots, flat on the side, which is to be expected. Also, that game was fifth. It was a very good game. Oh my god, it's like a once in a lifetime thing. For me. Alright, got a booster. Got 1600 experience. Love that. Um, yeah, I didn't do a lot of damage. 1300 puts me about halfway down on the team. We get to keep 21,000 credits. Ammunition resupply was 9,000 credits. So, yeah, I mean, love this vehicle so far. Probably won't pick one up because that is an expensive shell price. That is expensive. Where's... Yeah, service. 1,000... Wow. 1,000 credits per shell. That's crazy. Compared to... Really? It costs the same for the T-34? That is weird. That's weird. Oh, it costs the same. I don't know why it makes less credit than the T-34. Don't know. Don't care. Good first battle. Good first game. All right. A normal matchup with only two Chrysler Ks on our team and only one on the enemy team. Top tier battle. You know what? Actually, I will. I usually cross the bridge, but I don't know why I do that. I usually cross the bridge and play closer to this area, on the mini-map, not this area. But, uh, I'll push up with the other Chrysler K, because why not? What in the... What? Cool, I did not know that they changed this side of the map to be a railway. Railway? Railroad? Whatever. Alright, our team's making pretty aggressive plays out here. I just want to get hit in the side. There's that AMX M4, which has the heaviest armor profile of all the tier 8 heavy tanks, which means I probably won't be able to penetrate him at all, yeah. This poor Chrysler K is getting lit up. He misplayed pretty bad. Now he's just going to YOLO and die. Oh well. I feel bad that I didn't support him, and he is asking for help, but he also keeps blocking the IS-3, so the IS-3 really can help him. I'm just trying to stay already safe, to be honest, right now. That's all I care about. I spotted the Centurion 1. That's crazy. Wow, maybe this view range isn't that bad. I didn't know I could do that. Um... He didn't pen, I hit him. I do love the aim time on this vehicle, though. Oh, gosh. I gotta get this IS-3 IS to get back here. Please fall back, so that way they don't just start pouring out in front of you. And then, by extension, in front of me. I do not know why I was just about to do that. Let me angle my vehicle a little bit. Okay, the IS-3 has got it under control. Never mind. I'm determining whether or not I want to swing around and try to hit them. I mean, I think I do.
the <laughs> bulldog again. And the Loba's gonna take the kill. I feel bad for that bulldog, I don't really know what he was doing. Alright, hit the IS-3. For 326 damage. French vehicle has crazy good armor. Oh, but he's about to die, so that's oh no harm, no foul, huh? I'm gonna go after these other IS threes. I'm just I'm just not gonna mess with that guy. Hopefully I don't get eaten by the TDs. Right now. So this vehicle can get spotted very easily. So. He's dead. I don't know if we're going to be able to see. Yeah, I really wish they would spot field too. The guy who's pinging. You and me both. Oh, man, he's not quite all the way out. Ooh, Ferdinand. Whoa. I didn't even see that Ferdinand. Where is he? Way out of view. The tank destroyers picked off our light tank. That's, that's never good. I really don't want to be out here because that's basically suicide. I, think I just got spotted. Oh, what a ricochet, but he dies anyway. Is, man, look at the damage for spotting him, but it's only 98. Waiting for that other IS-3 to pop up. Oh, that hurt. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. 162. Nice. That's like, what, splash damage? For an artillery piece that big, that's nothing. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it all back off. Whatever. Have fun, Arty, doing Arty stuff. Or IS3 doing IS3 stuff. Oh, I really thought. I really. So you don't auto aim. It's like my rule of the week no auto aiming. I really want this D34B to spot for me, but at the same time, I don't want him to die. But there's no way I'm going out in that open field. Not with all those TDs. Man, they're probably all along the A-line. Um, I can't actually help you, but I can sit here in the back and snipe. Okay, let's see. Can I see? Nope. Wow, he died really quick. He died crazy fast. This way to try and deal with the uh, um, Vothen Tiger, the Rise Bulls Eagle. Oh, that's gonna hurt so bad. Oh, he didn't do it. Uh -huh. 
It's not gonna hurt at all. Sure. He's gonna slap me so hard, Tris, right now. Oh! Oh, wow, wow. How did I miss that shot? He's probably gonna load gold and try again. As long as I keep him spotted, Artie can just hit him. Whoa. I did not think he was gonna disappear. I got way too confident there for a second. Hit him for 300. Let's see if his gold rounds can penetrate me. They can't! Wow! See, this tank's gonna just... I may have to buy this. Please, somebody buy me this tank. First impressions, I love it. I mean, I'm really not being as aggressive as this tank allows me to play. I can really just charge positions, I think, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try and make all the difference for my team. Yeah, that Scorpion G has not been spotted yet, and that's scary. Yeah, see, now that I'm out in the open, terrifying. Hit him for 309. Oh god, I hope, I hope I can make this kill. I need to keep my TDs alive. Oh, sweet. He got the kill. Okay, let's see if we can spot that scorpion. If he's not over here, he's definitely over that way. This is where I'm gonna head. I really, this is... Well, see, I'm so nervous. But I have all my hit points still, because this tank is just amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I really like this vehicle. This might be the best 20 battles <laughs> of my World of Tanks career. Sorry about that, this game went longer than 10 minutes, which is surprising, so my camera cut off there. I'm deciding whether or not I want to cap. Um, oh, got spotted. Ow. Well, at least we know where the Scorpion G is right now. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. Oh, oh man. Oh, what? See, I got too cocky. Somebody please help. All right, killed the Centurion. Now I'm just gonna hide behind this house and uh, Oh man, just pray, he's right here. Oh, I was wrong. That scorpion has crazy good penetration. I have no idea if I just hit him, I didn't. Alright, he's gonna die before I can reload. Yep. Another good game. Except for when that last part there, I got too cocky. And uh, made a bunch of misplays. That was a long game, but hey, victory. And I love this thing. I really do. Now, I have been top tier both of these games. What are you guys? <sighs> I really wish somebody would give me this tank. <laughs> this is... I don't know. Maybe I just like American heavies. But that was a good game. So let's see... 51,000, another thousand XP, top three in damage, and we get to walk away with 32,000. So yeah, ammunition is going to be costly. This is not a good credit earner, but this is fun to play. I encourage everybody to just log in and play this vehicle, even if you don't like it. I didn't like it before this, but uh, that's why World of Tanks does this and gives us these vehicles. Amazing tank. I'll record a third game and then give you my final, final thoughts on it. Hopefully, I'm top tier again, but we'll see. Alrighty, top tier again. Now, as much as I want to say this thing is amazing and it probably gets premium matchmaking, which I don't think that it, or preferential matchmaking, sorry, which I don't think it does, I think these amazingly good battles are only because we're getting into games with a bunch of other people queuing up in the Chrysler K, so the matchmaker just sees a bunch of tier 8 vehicles coming out of nowhere. And so we're getting favorable matchups. 
come in like a day's time after all these battles, pre battles are gone, and I feel like I'll be seeing a lot of tier tens in this vehicle. Because I think this is going to be my last game in this tank for today, and then I'll see if it really does roll over. Obviously, I expect to have it for the whole weekend, but I mean, if it'll roll over into Monday, that I'll still get to have it if I haven't used all 20 battles. So, we will see. Another thing is, like me, a lot of the people in the Chrysler K have never played it before. It makes for just some, some fun gameplay. Extend. Like that guy just see what I mean? Got him. Like you should know better, guy. You should know you can't do that in this tank. You should know that I you can't pen me in this. Ooh. Oop, there comes a mutant. Never liked mutants. Just kidding, I actually love that tank. That thing is impressive. Did you see the armor map on that guy? I don't think I can pen any part of him. Yeah, just blocking damage, but uh, not really dealing any damage either. That is the one thing that I don't like about the Chrysler K up to this point. Is uh, it is not a damage dealing vehicle. It's very situational in how well it can deal damage. Go back. The mutant is so thick. Oh no. He's being a mean mutant. I gotta say, this thing is super fun to play because it's just. People will like fire gold at you and you just bounce it if you're angled right. It's just like amazing. <laughs> it's a good feeling. Like, you feel. Sorry, I was just trying to pitch in what that 110 was doing. Looks like they're not having a good time down there. And once that flank is lost, we're all going to get beat. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. No, sir, we don't like that. That other Chrysler is just not having a good time. Uh, the Progetto thinks we're a bunch of morons. And perhaps we are, Progetto. Since we are losing this game pretty hard. But, uh, you know what? All I gotta say to that is... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's right. I really wish there was some way to penetrate this mutant. Alright, looks like we have this under control over here. Ouch, I knew it was gonna happen. Yep, ouch. Just gonna move back. Yeah, that hurts so bad. I knew it would happen. I was just trying to aid these guys. Now my loader's been hit. Uh, that's something you never want. Oh my goodness, me oh my. Yeah, I agree. We really did not pay attention, so maybe we aren't the smartest players in Mama Tanks or whatever. But yeah, the Progetto was 100% right. We did not protect our base at all, and now, whew, we lost that guy. Get spotted. Don't want to die. Whoa! Oh my gosh! And yet, I'm going to die, even though I don't want to die. Wow. 
Wow, critical damage didn't pen. Oh man. Now I'm in the middle of things. <laughs> now I'm gonna die. Okay, looks like we finally got that one plank under control. Oh, he got me good. Jerk. Yeah, do it. Yep. Why is that in blue? Oh, is he a teammate? No. Yeah, I wasn't actually properly angled. I don't know why I thought I was. So, you know, this thing can fail. But man, do I love playing it. This is going to be a loss, but... Man, I had fun. I still had fun. I cannot believe the M6A2 mutant has that much frontal armor. There's a vehicle I would... Yeah, see? He's blue. Why is he... Oh! <laughs> he was just blue to begin with. Alright, never mind. I'm getting so confused. Anyway, that's going to be the last game, I believe. We'll see. I love this tank too much, but I think that's going to be it. Decided not to go for a fourth game in this vehicle, but ultimately absolutely in love with it so far. And a few factors I researched into it, um, I want to get out of the way. One, we are all top tier because of the MM just having a bunch of tier 8s go in today. This vehicle does not have preferential matchmaking. I had to double check that. So you will be seeing tier 10s, like I said, once this event clears, anybody who did pick up the Chrysler K now, just be prepared to see tier 10s in the future, even though you likely won't see them, at least this weekend, because everybody will be playing tier 8. One. Two, the premium APCR rounds on this vehicle do have 260 millimeters of penetration, which is enough to sort of deal with tier 10s, certain tier 10 vehicles, well, quite a bit of tier 10 vehicles, maybe not the heavies, but... You'll be able to defend yourself as well as a T-34B can defend itself. The only problem is this is not a huge credit earner, so you'll be wasting a lot of money firing your special ammunition instead of premium. They changed it. Um, also, my crew here is my T-34B crew. My rental didn't come with any crew. I don't think anybody's did. Yours will come with a 100% trained crew if you buy it. But I'm just using this crew, and this crew's pretty great so far. And that helped me be a little bit better in this vehicle. And then, of course, you can put modifications on it. I'd put in a gun, a gun rammer just because, if you can do that, maybe a spall liner. No, I wouldn't put in a spall liner. Gun rammer and vents for sure, always vents. And then I don't know. I don't know what else. Maybe coated optics or something. I have to really play this vehicle more to decide what would be best in it. But yeah, so far, really fun tank. I really hope, <laughs> I really hope you guys uh, get it and enjoy it. Or if you just want to help me out, <laughs> please pick up one for me. I think it's a good tank. First impression, why? Uh, first impressions. I want to give it like a uh, seven or eight out of ten. Solid tank. Okay, gun. It's its only drawback is the penetration on that gun. But everything else, it just seems like a lot of fun. So. Uh, Anyway, please subscribe to the channel if you want to get updates on any other videos. I will be doing more battles in this and filming it and all my other tanks in another one of my play day videos. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you didn't watch the review of this vehicle before this, go back and check that out. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.